In this video, I will explain the requirements you must meet in order to be eligible to sit for the CPA exam and be licensed as a CPA in the state of Virginia. So, keep watching! Hey future CPAs, this is Ella Abudeya. I'm a licensed CPA in the state of Colorado and I help students pass the CPA exam and become CPAs. If this is your first time here and you're interested in becoming CPAs, start by subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell in order not to miss any of my videos. To qualify to apply to sit for the CPA exam in Virginia, there are certain requirements you must meet. Comment below and tell me if you are planning to sit in Virginia State for the CPA exam. Now, Virginia does not have any age or citizenship or even residency requirements to sit for the CPA exam. So, there are no age requirements, no citizenship requirements, and no residency requirements. However, all CPA licensed applicants must provide a United States Social Security number or control number issued by the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles in order to be eligible to sit for the CPA exam. If you don't have a U.S. Social Security number or control number issued by the Virginia Department of Motor Vehicles, then you are not eligible for a Virginia CPA license. With that said, Virginia is not suitable for international candidates who do not have a social security number. If you want other state options that are more, more suitable for international candidates, watch this video which I gave some good states for international candidates. With respect to the educational requirements for Virginia State, you must have a minimum of a bachelor degree with at least 120 credit hours, which must include 48 hours of accounting and business courses by a degree granting accredited college or university in the United States. If you studied outside the United States, then you must send your academic credentials for evaluation by NASPA International Evaluation Services or any other approved foreign academic credential evaluation service. These 48 credit hours of accounting and business courses consist of at least 24 semester hours of accounting courses that must include courses in auditing, financial accounting, management accounting, and taxation. Also, the 48 hours must include 24 semester hours in business courses. In addition to the 24 hours in accounting, there are also 24 hours in business courses, out of which six accounting credit hours can be counted with the condition that they are not included in the previously mentioned 24 hours of accounting courses. Principles or introductory courses do not qualify in the 48 required hours. Does that make sense? Comment below and tell me if you meet these educational requirements to sit in Virginia or not. So, these are the educational requirements to apply to sit for the CPA exam in Virginia. An important note I want to mention here is that this state allows you to sit for the CPA exam in the United States and in international locations as well. To learn how to apply for the CPA exam and schedule the exams, get my free CPA exam application sheet sheet from the link in the description below. So go ahead in the link below and get this sheet. It is totally free and it gives you the step-by-step -step process you must follow to apply and schedule the CPA exams. So make sure to get this free sheet from the description below. Concerning the licensing requirements, they are different from the CPA exam requirements. Watch this video to learn the difference between the CPA exam sitting requirements and the CPA exam licensing requirements. To be licensed in Virginia State, you must meet the four E requirements, which are E number one, education. Virginia requires you to have 
150 credit hours to be licensed and not 120 credit hours as required to sit for the CPA exam. E number two, you must meet, you must meet for licensing is passing the four parts of the CPA exam. To learn the four parts of the CPA exam, watch this video. And to get the, my best tips and tricks on how to pass each of the four parts of the CPA exam, make sure, make sure to watch these four videos, which I gave you tips to pass the far part of the, uh, the exam, the audit part of the exam, the break part of the exam, and the BEC part of the exam. E number three. The ethics exam. So you must pass the American Institute of Certified Public Accountants, the AICPA, self-study ethics course and pass the exam with a score of not less than 90 percent. And finally comes the fourth E you must meet to get the license, which is the experience. You must have at least one year of experience, which is equivalent to 2080 hours or one year of full-time employment in academia, uh, a firm, a government, or industry involving the substantial use of accounting, financial, tax, or other skills that are relevant. This experience must be verified by an active licensed CPA from any jurisdiction who must sign on your licensing application. Whether other skills are relevant shall be determined by the Virginia Board of Accountancy on a case-by-case -case basis. Keep in mind that self-employment does not meet the definition of experience. With that said, make sure you fulfill this experience requirement to be approved for licensing. Comment below and tell me, tell me if you meet the 4E requirements or not. And if you uh, face any difficulties in uh, if you are if you if you are wondering how to accomplish and how to fulfill the 150 hour requirements for licensing purposes make sure to watch this video which i give you some great options to help you fulfill the 150 hour requirements you need for licensing purposes my next video will be about the district of columbia requirements so make sure to subscribe to this channel in order to get this video as soon as i upload it on youtube Remember, go after what you want, pass the CPA exam because you can become CPAs and save the world.